Hello friends, welcome back again to another After Effects tutorial and uh, on today's tutorial we are going to create this amazing product promo in Adobe After Effects so if you're new here make sure that you hit that subscribe button don't forget to like and comment down below so without wasting time let's see what we are going to create today So here we are back in After Effects and uh, I'm just going to create uh, one scene for this tutorial and uh, so let's begin. And to mention the project file that has the 3D model is down in the link below so that you can download if you want to follow along. So I'm going to start by creating a new composition, I'm going to name it uh, Scene 1 and it's full hd 1920 by 1080 i'm gonna click ok and uh we're going to create a new solid and uh, this is going to be the background i'm gonna set the color to white and going to effects and preset i'm gonna search for gradient i'm gonna apply on to this layer and uh change the starting point to the middle here and uh, take it down far away change the gradient to radio ramp so you can have something like this and the start color I'm gonna put it to something like that and uh, I'm gonna put it more dark actually let's put the starting color more bright and uh, I'm gonna move this point little close to the scent yeah that's perfect now I'm gonna create a new I'm gonna create a solid layer I'm gonna call this element and I'm gonna add a new camera once done I'm gonna go back to element and I'm gonna search for an effect called element 3D. You actually can do this effect until you have this plugin called element 3D. So make sure you check that out in video called pilot.com and uh, download it. So we're gonna go to our scene setup. It's taking a while. Here we are uh, in our scene setup and I'm just going to import our, our file that's this cup, <laughs> actually a coffee cup. Here we have it, it's too much small, I'm gonna make the scale to a thousand, yeah. We have two materials, we have the cape and the actual bottle, so I'm gonna start with the cape by opening it up, see the content yeah so i'm gonna start with the cave and uh, i'm just going to drop these uh, colors to their perspective the brown color goes to the diffuse and uh, i'm gonna take this uh, this to the reflectivity and uh, roughness to normal bump once done, you should have something like uh, this. And uh, I'm just going to decrease the normal bump to something like uh, 50. Increase the grossiness. We have something like that. I'm actually gonna set up my environment. I'm using this uh, sort of studio light. It's too much blight. That's looking nice. Come down to the ghostiness and uh, 47 looks fine. 
reflectivity it's too much yeah that's looking nice and we're gonna go to the second material i'm also going to drop my materials this goes to the fuse and uh we have this goes to the effectivity and uh, this goes to the normal bump you should have something like this i'm going to turn off draft textures so i can really see this and uh, i'm also going to increase the grossiness decrease the normal bump yeah our coffee cup is actually nice and ready once done um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to rotate this i'm going to rotate it to come back to orientation i'm going to rotate till this comes like that once done click ok and uh, here we have our model so i'm gonna go back to thin setup and i'm just gonna make it face uh, forward so i'm just gonna tweak the orientation values till this that side comes this side so just gonna increase as so We'll have something looking like this. Okay. There we have it. There is a coffee cup. I'm gonna go back to scene setup again and I'm just going to show you a really nice and a quick tip. So once we go to scene setup, I'm gonna duplicate this model and uh on the bottom. I'm gonna name it uh, butter and uh, on the top name it cap and uh, on the down model that's the our main bottle we are gonna turn off the cape and uh, on the cape we're gonna turn off the butt so we have the butter and the cape once done, right click on the cape, go to auxiliary animation and choose channel 1 and the ball assign it to channel 2. Once done, click OK, we are ready to go. So, I'm just gonna add, uh, I'm gonna rotate this, actually I'm gonna flip it so it looks uh, diagonal as how we saw in our uh, animation so i'm just gonna go to the world transforms and uh world rotation i'm gonna change the z rotation to something like this okay give it 45 and see how that turn out yeah that looks good and uh i'm gonna increase the z amount actually gonna increase it that's looking nice and uh actually go to group one so that you can start animating these elements i'm gonna to go to auxiliary channels and uh channel one <clears throat> i'm gonna rotate the open up to rotation and uh, actually we're going to start with the position so the y position i'm gonna add uh, go to two seconds and one second and a half and add a keyframe on Y position and go back and just push it back like so. Push it back till it's outside of the composition. That's nice. Open up auxiliary channel two. Go to the same frames. Add a keyframe on y position and uh, go back and change the y position so we are actually gonna select these keyframes 
we're gonna select these keyframes and uh, easy ease them and make your graph look something like this yeah so it's coming in really fast and it's going to slow down once then you're gonna add the rotation so i'm gonna come here and uh go to auxiliary channel this rotation article one two and we're gonna animate the y the y rotation so i'm gonna add a keyframe go to a couple seconds maybe two seconds and move it i wanna rotate it three times so it's gonna make a rotation right here and uh i'm gonna go to maybe three seconds and uh make this move smoothly yeah i'm just gonna add a text right at the beginning i'm gonna add a text align it at the center of our comp and uh, <clears throat> this is what we should have so just scale down the text and move it behind the element layer so the bottle would fly in and uh, actually close up the text so and boom it rotates actually the rotation is pretty too much so i'm just gonna change it i'm gonna change the rotation to two times and uh the same to this keyframe yeah so that's nice select this rotation keyframes and uh easy ease and make sure you turn on motion blur for the whole comp and the element comp so our animation is done and uh it should look something like this my pc is actually slowing down so this is actually the final animation for this amazing coffee cup so thank you guys for being with me from the beginning of this tutorial till now uh make sure you support the channel by hitting the subscribe button don't forget to like comment share this tutorial and uh, i will see you on the next video